formal opening. Good evening and welcome to today's meeting of the Commonwealth Club of California. So happy to see you all here tonight. The club, as we say, is the place when you're in the know. Uh, and uh, tonight we have some wonderful folks here to bring you in the know about a wonderful career, a wonderful life, and some very important issues. You can, of course, find the Commonwealth Club on the internet at commonwealthclub.org. I'm Gloria Duffy, as most of you know, president and CEO of the club, and I will, with great pleasure and honor, moderate this evening's program. Today's program is part of the club's Good Lit series. Dr. Perry's uh, autobiography is definitely good lit, good literature. Uh, our underwriter for this is the Bernard Osher Foundation. Tonight's program features Dr. William Perry, who served as Secretary of Defense under President Clinton, and he is the author of a new memoir, My Journey at the Nuclear Brink. We're going to have a little bit of an unusual format this evening. Dr. Perry will speak for a few minutes, followed by Robin Perry, director of the William Perry Project, which is aimed at educating the public and particularly young people on the dangers of nuclear weapons in the 21st century. We will then have a conversational question period with both of them. And so, of course, we encourage you to write question cards and send them up so uh, both Secretary Perry and Robin Perry can answer them. Now, tonight we're be going to be discussing the life of Dr. Perry and an autobiography. So I think the worst thing I could do is repeat that entire autobiography in an introduction. Uh, I will, however, uh, provide a brief introduction of someone who truly does need no introduction. Dr. Perry's career spans many fields including engineering, mathematics, national security, and business management. His roles have ranged from being the director of the Electronic Defense Laboratories of Sylvania GTE in his early career, to founding a Silicon Valley company and running it, uh, ESL Corporation, Electromagnetic Systems Laboratory. He's been and currently still is a Stanford professor and he has, of course, had multiple roles in leadership of American defense policy. These have included the roles of Under Secretary of Defense, Depu Deputy Secretary of Defense, and Secretary of Defense. I want to tell you just a little bit about Dr. Perry's educational background and about his awards, and he's going to tell you about his episodes of his career and what he's drawn from those experiences. Dr. Perry uh, has received some of the most uh, distinguished awards in the world. He's received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1997. He is a Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire, so he's actually Sir Bill in 1998. And he's received the Grand Cordon of the Order of the Rising Sun in 2002, awarded by the Emperor of Japan. Dr. Perry received his BS in 1949 and his MA in 1950, uh, degrees from Stanford, and a PhD in mathematics from Pennsylvania State University in 1957. He currently serves as the Michael and Barbara Berberian Professor Emeritus at Stanford University. He has a joint appointment at the Freeman Spogli Institute for International Studies and the School of Engineering. He's a senior fellow at Stanford University's Hoover Institution, and he serves as co-director of the Nuclear Risk Reduction Initiative and the Preventive Defense Project. In closing of this very brief overview of Dr. Perry's biography, uh, I had the pleasure of serving under Dr. Perry at the Department of Defense. And what I observed there, and many people have observed, he has drawn on such a wide uh, experience and expertise in his career in defense leadership. He was a terrific business manager, having had business management experience in Silicon Valley. He was a, a terrific expert and scholar uh, having been a scholar and expert, he understood the technical side of everything, being a mathematician and an engineer. I don't believe there has ever been a Secretary of Defense with such wide expertise and such great and effective leadership. So I'm very happy to introduce my friend, mentor, 
colleague and uh, one of the people I most respect in the world, Dr. William Perry. <laughs>